Hey everyone, welcome to day one of the 75 soft challenge. I'm actually really, really excited to start this challenge because I just wanted to kickstart my weight loss journey. So I am currently in the car. It is 5.07 in the morning. I'm on my crazy for me because i already go to the gym this early but with this challenge i'm gonna push myself to go monday through friday every single week there's only one week in april that i know i'm not going to be able to because i'm going out of town for a work conference but i'm still going to get some movement in while i'm there because we're going to las vegas so it'll be okay but i'm really really excited to document this challenge because i am a type of person where like i need to push myself to do something and if i have like a goal or something i have to do every single day i'm more likely to do it than just say arbitrarily oh i want to go to the gym four times this week but if it's just if i say monday through friday then i'm most likely gonna go so i'm really, really excited to start this challenge i'm gonna get i'm gonna make a whole introduction video today when i get home and post it before this vlog goes out so you'll know like what my personal rules are because i am changing them up a little bit from the actual like 75 soft challenge that's like going around everywhere today is armed so i'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym um i'm gonna probably record everything else on my phone because my camera is about to die so that's that but i'll get into everything most likely when i get home from work and tell you how the first day went let's get ready for 75 soft let me know if you're doing it in the comments below i'm really really excited to film these videos to like keep myself accountable and to also share my journey because i've always tried to do these, i've always tried to do these types of like challenges and it just never works out for me so we got this let's go day one so what can i say to you that i'm off day had to fall back you got everybody thinking i'm all bad I was always holding you so I just got to work and I thought I would show you what I'm eating for lunch today because knowing myself I'm not gonna record what I eat in the break room just because I don't want people staring at me okay so actually I'm gonna start off with what I'm reading so I'm currently listening to ninth house by Leah Bardugo and I'm gonna count audiobooks as getting my pages in because I'm trying to make reading a priority this year anyway so if I can listen to it I'm gonna listen to it yeah but the book that I'm physically reading is this could be us by oops this could be us by Kennedy Ryan. I have the audiobook and I really need to get to it because it's due in like less than no, in like two weeks. So I'm gonna read this during my lunch break, which I wanna make that a priority of reading in my lunch break instead of watching YouTube. Um so this is the book that I'm gonna be physically reading. And I like to listen to audiobooks during work and cause I used to just watch YouTube videos like the whole time I was doing work at work. But I'm trying to make it a priority to listen to audiobooks instead and plus the book this book that i'm reading is already really interesting so um for breakfast i have my banana which i like to eat i usually eat like an actual breakfast once i get into the office and then i just eat like two granola bars before i go into work i have some protein pancakes these are from premier protein i get them from sam's club fair life protein shake literally taking out my whole lunch right now but it's fine um then i have this is like my snack box that I make. It has um, strawberries, some tzatziki dip, and some hard salami that I just cut up. Then I eat the tzatziki dip with these like Ritz um, crackers. I'm making like a mess in here, but it's fine. I have a Built Bar Puff. These ones are my favorite. These and the cookie dough ones are my absolute favorite. Um, these have like 17 grams of protein. So I usually eat these like right before I'm about to go home. So I'm not like starving once I get home. So I don't eat everything in the kitchen. So I eat this. And then I have my Mountain Dew Zero, which my grandma got me, which I really, really like this. It tastes like a regular Mountain Dew. So, um, cause I'm trying to do only like one drink besides water and like a protein shake a day. Cause if I don't, I'm going to drink like five Diet Cokes in a day, which is not what we want here no and then for lunch i have some salmon and broccoli which you can kind of see. an eight pack of frozen salmon from aldi and then i have some broccoli with some cheese on it and that is everything i'm eating for lunch and stuff oh and i have a little kit kat for something sweet because i'm trying to not eat okay so i'm the type of person where like every time i eat a big meal i want something sweet after and i used to like bring like a whole bunch of candy and stuff so i just have this little kit kat bar and that is what I'm going to be eating today. For dinner, I think I'm going to eat um, some a cheeseburger because my grandma got some some frozen hamburger patty. So I'm just gonna make myself a little um, cheeseburger tonight, probably with like some fruit and some chips. So that is everything. And you're gonna you're going to find out very quickly that I usually eat the same thing 
for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Today, I'm the type of person where I don't really get tired of food that fast. It'll probably take me like three months to get tired of something, and I'll eat it every single day. Like literally these past three months for lunch, I would eat a um, sliced chicken breast and cheese sandwich with some Cheez-Its literally every single day for the past three months so i had to change it up and plus i want to eat some more protein during lunch specifically because when i do that i am full a lot um longer versus eating this like a regular sandwich which was mostly just bread and like a few slices of sliced meat you know so that is everything i just wanted to tell you guys that i am actually about to go into work i'm going to film my intro video to this whole challenge and tell you the rules that i'm specifically following today so that'll be out before um and my workout today was really really good i did arms which i have been consistently going to the gym on and off already so this addition to the challenge is a little bit more difficult because i used to go like three days a week because i work in the office monday through wednesday and then i work from home thursday friday and when i work from home that's the hardest for me to get my butt up and go to the gym because i'm already home so i don't want to go anywhere but on the days where i go into the office i already have to get up and get dressed so might as well go to the gym before so i'm just we got this but today's day one i'm gonna find um some like printable thing that i can check off on the computer today when I'm at work so I can print it off and just have it so I can actually check something off because they were there I did find an app but I had to pay for it and I'm not paying for an app to just check off something you know anyway that is all for this part of the vlog and I will see you guys when I get home okay i came on here to give you guys an update on day one of 75 soft so i printed out my little printout here with the weeks and stuff so i wanted to come on here and check it off with you guys i brought a pen and now i can't day one i followed my meal plan i didn't eat out at all did my workout, got my water in, and I read way more than 10 pages, but that's really easy for me because I read daily anyway, and I'm doing good on that, so I can check all of them off for today, which is exciting. So, day one synopsis was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, the only thing that might be a little bit difficult for me is the eating out portion and tracking my calories. Now, I am... I know how to track my calories and stuff, but a lot of the times I overestimate what I'm going to eat or I underestimate what I'm going to eat. Like, before I got home, my calories were good. I was under my calories, but as soon as I got home and I made dinner, I was like, ooh, this is a lot of calories. I don't know if this is going to fit. It ended up fitting, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just don't realize how big portions are or how many calories are in some food items until i go to scan it and it's like i don't really have anything else to eat so i have to eat this so that is a little bit difficult um the other thing that i think i'm gonna have trouble on like i already know is gonna come up this week is eating out not with only eating out in uh because i changed the eating or drinking alcohol in special occasions because i don't drink at all so that's not really a challenge for me um but i changed that to eating out only in social settings or like with friends or with family because i don't want to make a habit of just getting food after work and coming home and eating it because i do do that i don't do it often but when i do i do it obviously so i changed that to only eating out in like social settings or in like a special occasion type thing and i know it's gonna like coming up one of my best friends is coming to visit me and my other friend and we're going out to eat and this place that we're going out to eat to give you really really big portions and i'm the type of person of like if there's food in front of me i'm gonna finish my plate which is something that i'm trying to work on i'm also trying to work on like mindful eating like not eating so fast and making sure that i'm not scarfing down my food when i get it because i do have a habit of eating really really fast and then i'm just sitting there for like 20 minutes while everybody else is eating like oh i'm done you know so that's something that i really need to focus on because this place this weekend i'm pretty sure i'll probably film a little bit of it so you see like what i'm talking about i just get really really overwhelmed because it's like i know i'm not i don't need to eat all of this food but i want to eat it because it's on the plate so i know that's going to be something i struggle with this weekend in particular so i'm going to try to see if i can look at the menu beforehand or see if i can I don't know if there's something that I can get from there that isn't excessive in calories and isn't a huge portion. So, but that is all for day one. I was able to check everything off. I'm actually going to be wearing this outfit in the previous video because I'm about to film my 75 hard introduction and like my specific rules and the things I'm changing. So, yeah, that was all for day one. Very, very proud of myself for completing day one and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Today's day two. 
I'm already off to a rough start. My allergies have been crazy. I've sneezed like 20 times and it's only 5 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at like 4 when I usually wake up at 4.45. My oil ring says my sleep was bad. So like not off to a great start. But you know we're getting it in. I have my Alani new because I knew I know I'm not going to make it through this morning without it. This is my favorite one. This is the Grape Stardust I think. No Cosmic Stardust. This one's my favorite from them. So definitely gonna drink that this morning. I weighed myself. I'm down on the scale, which is good. I just don't feel comfortable sharing my weight right now on camera. Maybe at the end of the challenge or maybe like halfway through, I'll be like, okay, I don't care anymore. But right now, I care. So I'm not gonna share it. But the scale did go down today, so proud about that. Um, But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this workout in so I can get it over with. Um, Let's go. Okay, okay it's 5 something. What time is it? 5.04. I'm really early this morning. But yeah, my camera's falling. I'll see you when I get to work probably, I don't know. So today is the basically the end of day two. I'm recording this in my car because my house is chaotic. There's three dogs in there right now and I have to go take care of them. And I just know I'm not going to want to film this once I get inside. So I want to make sure I'm doing it. But I wanted to first off say day two was pretty good. It wasn't very difficult. Only thing that I know. I'm trying to think like I had this whole thing of what I was going to say and now I totally forgot. I don't know. It, just, it wasn't that hard. It was pretty chill. Once I get inside and I eat dinner and stuff, I'm going to prepare my food for the next lunch, specifically for the next two days. Maybe three days. I don't know. But I know that making my food and my snacks ahead of time is very, very helpful for me. For someone who is kind of busy, um, I work. I take care of my dogs. I have friends, family, boyfriend. You know the whole spiel. I have a life. And planning ahead is beneficial for me in general and my life in general but definitely when it comes to a challenge like this making my food ahead of time is a lot easier than doing it every single day plus i don't have the energy for it i go to bed at 8 30 it is now four o'clock i have like four and a half hours before i need to hit my head on the pillow and go to sleep okay so i wanted to show you guys i added a little widget for 75 soft that tells me how many days i have left because i'm a very visual person and i like to know like how many days i have left till something i remember like when i graduated college i had a little countdown app on my phone and it told me like x amount of days to graduation and it was very like anticipating it was really exciting so i have that and i also joined a facebook group for the 75 soft challenge and a lot of people say they have like an app that they used i'm kind of mad because i downloaded one that was like five dollars and it sucked and then somebody posted in the group oh i use this one that somebody in the group made and it's way it's so much better because it wouldn't let you change your start date so it thought that today was my day one and like this i was like this is gonna bother me i want day one to be yesterday so this app that i got i was able to put that i had day two i mean day one yesterday anyway i <laughs> completed day one so it does this when you complete a day so i did all my task and i'm able to edit my task as well i know i said in my intro video like i had some things that i was doing different like i changed the eating or changed the drinking socially to only eating out socially i was able to change that i changed the water to 96 ounces of water because the water bottle i have is 32 ounces and it's just easier for me to just drink three of them than to try to figure out did i drink four extra ounces of water to make it 100 ounces i'm not making this harder than it needs to be and then i added in my weigh-in task because i am weighing myself daily as well so with that it just gives you like a countdown so i'm on day two and we have uh, 73 more days to go so that's very exciting just want to give you this recap of day two it's very chaotic that's just what my channel this video series is going to be because i am a very all over the place type of person but i'm going to go inside do what i need to do and make my lunch that i'm going to have for the next three months because that's what i do um and yeah but like i said in another part of this video i literally eat the same thing every single day so don't get too crazy i'm not a big like recipe person once i find something i like i really stick to it i don't really get tired of that stuff and also this sunday is easter so i don't know how that's gonna go good morning everyone day three of 75 soft i 
am currently in the car. I'm about to go to the gym and it is raining. It's not thunderstorming, but it's uh, sprinkling. And this is definitely a day where I'd have been like, oh, well, I'm not gonna go. I don't have to go today. It's fine. I can just go tomorrow. Because whenever it rains or whenever I don't sleep as well or whenever I just don't feel like going to the gym, I just don't go. Honestly, I just give myself some type of excuse and I'm like, okay, well, I'm good. Don't have to do it. But that turns into me not going for the next three days. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just go next week. And then it'll just be, oh, I'll go. Just, I'll just start next month. So this is a day where I just have to like push myself because one, I woke up, my allergies were like, I woke up at like two, my like my nose was stuffed up i was sneezing <laughs> couldn't go back to sleep for like an hour and i was like i didn't think i was gonna have this much it's not even that hard it's just like sometimes I just don't feel like doing it you know and that's what i have trouble with is i just have to make myself do stuff that i don't want to do in the moment and that's something i'm working on in every aspect of my life so i just have to so i really enjoy like arm work arm days any type of arm day is definitely my favorite i I'm not gonna say I despise legs, but they're like my least favorite exercise because because I have excess weight, my knees hurt sometimes when I do like squats and stuff. So they're not my favorite. But I did squat like I use um dumbbells to squat and yesterday I used thirty five pounds, which that I'm pretty sure that's a PR for me. But it's also like I didn't like it when I was doing it, but I did it. So hey. Um let me go ahead and get to the gym so I'm not blabbing, but I'll see you guys once I get to work probably. I got a coffee. I did not get Starbucks because I missed the turn for the Starbucks and I was not about to turn around. It No, no. So I ended up getting a medium. I got the regular medium roast with some sugar-free vanilla and a little bit of creamer. I don't know how much creamer I used. Probably like two servings. Uh, but the, cof the actual coffee was like five calories and then sugar-free is zero. So it's pretty good now because i um i was watching uh obese to beast his podcast that he did with his girlfriend like kind of like introducing her because he mentions her in his videos but talking about like your relationship with food and how you interact with food and something i realized is like on wednesdays like a hump day basically i always want a little something like before i started this challenge i would get like chick-fil-a on wednesdays um I would, you know, get Chick-fil-A for breakfast instead of eating what I packed. I would stop and get food after work as, like, a little reward. I'm not really sure why. I think it's like a, oh, I did good for the first two or three days, so let me reward myself. But it's like, doing that, I'm not going to reach my goals. So when I was, so when I was saying this morning, like, ooh, I'm going to get Starbucks, I think that was still, like, my, kind of like my reward system of, like, oh, you can get a little something. Um, and don't get me wrong, I really wanted a coffee because, like, I did not sleep well last night. But I don't need to get a freaking $8 coffee that I'm going to drink in five minutes. Like, I just got this and it's already, like, right here. So, it's, like, um, and that's also just because I want to save money. But also because Starbucks has a lot of calories. Like, the flat white I was going to get had, like, I was most likely going to get a grande, which is, like, this size. And that would have probably been 250, maybe 300 calories. Whereas this is minus the creamer 60 calories because i'm i can't i don't i didn't obviously i didn't measure how much creamer i put in the gas station you know anyway that was a long little spiel um i will probably my workout today was good though it was good it was um back so i just don't think i'm that strong in back yet like my arms are really strong i think it's a little bit eh. my legs are strong i just hate doing legs and then core suck at it i did core the first time last friday got some work to do but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go into work and i will check in with you guys probably when i get home to kind of do a recap of day three I'm almost done with my third water. That'll make 96 ounces, which is great. Um, I'm going to make a protein shake for, like, my dessert. I stopped at the vitamin shop. I'll put a clip of, like, what I got here. And then I got some milk because I'm not the best at, like, eating actual meat for some reason. Like, I like salmon. I like chicken. But I just don't want that. And I already ate dinner, so... And I ordered some, like, a sample pack of the Clean Simple Eats protein. I've been wanting to try it for a while. And I ordered a sample pack. Because I'm going out of town in two weeks or a week. And I want to take those with me so I can make protein chicks while I'm there. Just so I have a little bit of protein and I wanted to try it anyway. So I got the travel one so I can like fly with them. 
I'm probably gonna make like a whole video separate of like what I'm bringing and stuff. Yeah, that is all. Um, day three was pretty chill. Only thing is I'm trying to get my water in. Um, so I will just film me when I make my little milkshake because it sounds really good. And yeah, that is all for day three. It's going pretty well. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. All she ever said is come and see me for us. Come and see me for us. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. I've been up for two whole days thinking what I did to keep you going. Coming through the voice ones that you left me telling me what I went wrong. I'll admit I'm sorry when I've been, I'm truly sorry. Things change, people change, feelings change too. Never thought the circumstances would have changed you. You said you never tried to know. Hey guys, welcome to day four today's day four which is really cool today's been pretty pretty good i went to the gym earlier i tried to record a little bit of my workout for you guys and one thing i'm starting to learn on this challenge and also just in a weight loss journey in general is i really need to listen to my hunger cues which is something that i've always kind of struggled with when i was in therapy when i was in school and in college we talked about this but i didn't really dive too deep into it but Listening to your hunger cues are very, very important. I actually found um, social media graphics that kind of explain what it is because I have a problem with thinking that I need to eat just because it's a specific time instead of waiting till I'm actually hungry. Like, for example, I just had my midday snack, like before lunch at like 10.20 when usually I have it around 9.30, but I wasn't hungry at 9.30. And past me would have been like, oh, well, it's 9.30. I just eat my snack because it's 9.30. But you're not hungry, so why are you eating if you're not hungry? And that's something that I'm trying to teach myself to do. Wanting to eat everything because I want it then and there versus just listening to when I'm hungry and eating food that is actually good for my body, not just good for my taste buds. So that is how day four has been going. I already got my workout in. I'm almost on my third bottle of water for the day, which is great. Um, I might go for a walk during my lunch break today, depending on the weather. It is like 55 degrees outside, so I don't know. And I'm supposed to hang out with my boyfriend later today, so we're probably going to go shopping and stuff, so I'll get some more steps in there anyway. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty good so far. I'm really enjoying the challenge, and it's very eye-opening to see, like, I've been needing to work on, so. You don't ever come to me You don't ever come to me All she ever said is come and see me for us Come and see me for us You don't ever come to me You don't ever come to me I've been up for two whole days thinking what I did to keep you going Coming through the voice ones that you left me telling me what I went wrong I'll admit I'm sorry when I've been, I'm truly sorry Things change, people change, feelings change too Never thought the circumstances would have changed you You said you never tried to know